Okay, today let's start using keyboard input. This is a new program I have called Using Keyboard Input. We've got a ton of import statements here, probably a few more than I need. But uh, we need the Abstract Windows Toolkit for our graphics, and this will listen for any events like key presses that we have. Uh, I can probably delete this one. I think that was our random number, but it's not taking up any, uh, it's not causing any problems right now for me. So, what you can do is code this, and the first thing we're going to do is create a rectangle. This is going to be the paddle in our uh, Pong game that we're going to create. So, with the rectangle, it's only about 10 pixels wide and 100 long, so it'll be sort of a long, thin box that we create. Then we have, and I have this created outside of any methods so that everybody can access this. When we're inside curly braces and create something, we can't always share it. So that's why this one is created up here. And its size isn't going to change, so these are hardwired in there. They're not variables. Then we have our initialization method, and we need to add our key listeners. It's going to look for key pressed, key release, that sort of thing. Now our run method, in there I'm going to have the x and y coordinates of our where the rectangle is going to go. This was its size, but this is its x and y coordinates. Then I'm going to give it some color and fill it. And then we're going to add it to the screen. Add pedal 1 with its x and y coordinates. Now here's where it gets cool. We have a new method, and this is a key press event. So it's listening for keys pressed, and anytime it's pressed, it's going to be stored as a key event called key. Excuse me, called k. And then we can reference it, object.method, the k object. We can get the key code, and that's going to be stored as an integer. Call it whatever you want. Now we're using what's called a virtual keyboard. That's the VK when you see here. So I'm using W for up, S for down. You could type in up for the up arrow, the word down for the down arrow. Keep it all caps. So we're saying if that virtual keyboard, which is stored as a number, if the number that this represents, the key event W, is equal to the number on hand or that we uh, have in our packages, what we can do is then move the paddle. So we have paddle.move. Now I'm leaving this zero because we don't want the x coordinate to change. You can play around with it and set it up so you can move the, the ball all around or something all around the screen using up WSAD for up, down, left, right. So in this case, I only want it to go uh, W for up. So I'm only changing the Y value up. If we want it down, I change the Y value negative. Say I wanted it to go right, I would make that a positive number. If I wanted it to go left, I would make that a positive number. So you can easily create one. What I want you to do, to do today is then create, uh, uh, add on to this so that you can control your, uh, your graphic to go up, down, left, and right. So you can sort of have it chase around the screen. 